Hey guys, welcome back. I'm down here at our Eugene store today. The reason I'm down here is because the other day we got a crazy trade in and I'm not down here too often. So I figured I'd just come down here and make a video about it because not only did we get a crazy big trade in, but we also just have like so much stuff in general. So this will basically just be a store pickups video, but you'll want to stick around. There is literally several games that are like four or 500 plus. And it was an absolutely wild trade. And I'll get into the details of that with you in a second. So on Friday, the co-owner of this store contacted me that there was a couple of people that walked in with a massive trade in and he wanted me to help him evaluate. And the craziest thing about the story was that supposedly they got all this stuff from a storage unit. And it's like literally some of the craziest stuff I've ever personally gotten traded into the store. Like when he opened up FaceTime and showed me some of the stuff in here, I was like, what in the world? I was like, it was like absolutely insane. The fact that this was on a storage unit is so crazy i wonder if like the person who lost his storage unit knew what he had and what it was worth or like how long ago he lost it like i don't know how long it takes to like auction those off but we're talking about some crazy stuff so i'm gonna turn this camera around and i'm gonna show you like everything that was in here and this might be one of the craziest tradings we've ever gotten and for sure these people like had a crazy storage unit maybe not the craziest storage unit but in terms of video games i don't think they're ever gonna top video games from a storage unit so the first thing I saw, and you probably already kind of see some of the stuff to the side, was this Virtual Boy. It's got the insert, it's got the console. I don't know if it has the game, I haven't completely opened it up yet. And this box is like a little more beat than what I had seen on video. This is my first time seeing all this stuff in person, but this is crazy. You honestly just never see this. But yeah, so that was the first thing I saw, and that's when I was like, we need this. And then like the store, like everything they had just got crazier and crazier. Like. Let me go into all these Saturn games. And some of us might not be big Saturn guys. I'm not, but I kind of know some of them are worth crazy money. And I'll jump into those a little bit more later. But yeah, and then we got all these Genesis games, some more loose Genesis games. We got this Super Nintendo game. I forget what this is called. What is this? Oh, Maximum Carnage. First time we ever had that. Mario RPG, a classic. Killer Instinct, that's a great game. Uh, some original NES games, nothing special. We got this like Sega Saturn Bomberman attachment, which looks like so funny. This is honestly such a cool attachment. We got a Saturn Action Replay, which I've never seen before. And then we got Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mario Party 4, Super Monkey Ball, and then 007 Nightfire. And then, what in the world? Hold up, guys. Let me go get that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I think we had left off at the GameCube stuff, but I think I was saying... Oh, I was showing you guys, like, everything else we got. So we got this. I don't know what this is, honestly. And then we got some, like, Sega Saturn CIB stuff, like, controllers and stuff. A Dreamcast fishing controller. And then we got some fight sticks for the Saturn as well. And then this is just junk, basically. But let me show you some of the other good trade we've had. So we got all of these GameCube games. We got stuff like... Wind Waker, we got four swords, what is this? Um, basketball, and I know I gave this store the box for that. Twilight Princess, Billy and Mandy, Sunshine, Paper Mario, Extreme Racing, King Kong, Shrek, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, Soul Calibur, Harvest Moon, Harry Potter, Robots, ooh, Mario Baseball, Teen Titans, I don't see that one too often, and Time Splitters, Resident Evil, and then Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and we also got these Wii games. And we also ended up getting this fantastic jungle green with the blue cover, but with the expansion pack, that's interesting that they had the blue cover. And we also have another jungle green with the fun, or er, <laughs> jungle green with the expansion pack. And then let me show you the games that we got with that one. We got Gauntlet, Pokemon Snap, Mario Kart, Smash Bros, Ocarina Collectors, Star Fox, uh, Extreme G, XG2. But yeah, that's crazy. But how about we... I don't know all these values off the top of my head. I know some of them, but like I said, this is the first time I've ever seen them. I just saw a quick picture and was able to see some of them. But I pulled out the ones I think are worth money. Maybe I missed some. But I'm going to show you them and pop the prices up on the screen. If you're a Saturn collector, you already know some of these are pretty wild. But let me show you what we got. Legend of the Oasis. This one I did know was worth something. What is this? Legend of Elden? What? Albert Odyssey. This is crazy. I really want to try this one out, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to pop up these values as we're going through it. Now, this one, when I saw this, I was going crazy. What is this? Ray Earth. This one is like, I'm a big working designs fan. 
as much as I wish I could keep this one, I know we have to sell it, but this thing looks crazy. When we when I saw that we had this in the lot, I like absolutely lost it. Like, I think I actually screamed a little bit. But yeah, this one, if you already know, is worth way, like it's kind of worth a lot of money. Let's see which CD though. If you don't know about this game, there's actually three different CDs. I don't know if there's like a value difference between all the three CDs, but I feel like I don't see this one that often. I feel like I normally see the CD with her or the CD with her. I feel like I really don't see hers that often. That's wild though. Um, and then we got Burning Rangers. This one was crazy. I had no idea what this was. And when I saw the value on this, I was like, geez Louise. And we got Lost World Jurassic Park. I don't know anything about this one. This one might not be worth too much, but I figured it's not a sports title. Let's pull it out and see if it's worth something. It looks like it is damaged there though. We got Alien Trilogy. Again, no idea what this is worth. Figured, not a sports game, pulled it out. Uh, we got Guardian Heroes. This looks like it might be worth something. I'd guess like a hundred bucks. Oh no, all the Saturn stuff is honestly so expensive that I just have no idea, but I bet that could be worth something. X-Men Children of the Atom. Now I did look this one up. Nice. Thankfully, it looks like it's not broken. A lot of these seem to be broken. Like that's a pretty normal thing with like jeweled cases in general. But yeah, I looked this one up. This one was pretty wild. We got Super Street Fighter or Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. It's crazy how much this one goes for compared to the PS1 version. We've had the PS1 version before at my Salem store, but geez Louise. Like, guys, come on. Don't we all wish you could find a storage unit like this? Pandemonium. I looked this one up. I don't remember exactly how much it was off the top of my head, but I remember it was worth something. At least like 80 bucks, I feel like. Probably more. Sonic R. Okay, this one I had a hunch feeling about. When I saw the value of this one, I could not believe it, bro. The Sonic games on this console go crazy expensive. This actually looks so cool, too. Nice, not damaged. Street Fighter Collection. This one's wild. I think at the time of recording this, I saw the cheapest one on eBay was $500. So crazy, bro. Like, Saturn prices are insane. Uh, yeah, I don't know about the price on this one. What is this? Tempest 2000? I really have no idea. This honestly could be worth nothing, but it wasn't a sports game, so I pulled it out. Then we got Virtual Cop again. Uh, I don't know too much. I feel like I've sold this loose before, and it like had some value, so eh. And then we got Scud. No idea what this is. This actually looks kind of funny. I bet this could maybe be worth something. Don't, don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. I'll post up all these pictures while we're going through these, but that looks pretty cool. We got Three Dirty Dwarves. We looked this one up. This one was also worth something, thankfully. Yeah, no idea what this is about, though. That's a strange-ass name, bro. And then we got Bomberman for the Saturn. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the U.S. version. I saw that this thing loose was going for, like, 200 It makes me wonder what that little, like, Bomberman attachment is worth. But, yeah, I think those are all the notable titles from this lot. But it's just absolutely crazy. Like, Fantasy Star 2, I know, is worth something. I think there's, like, a Tecmo Super Bowl 3 in here that is worth something, like... It's just so insane that someone had all of this. Like, literally the craziest storage unit I've ever heard of related to video games. And for sure, like, one of the craziest trade-ins we've ever personally had. Now, they also came back a few days later and traded in, like, all the consoles to us. So, in here, there's a Gale of Darkness XD GameCube. Um, what else? There's a 32X attachment. I know there's a PS2. I think there's an NES. There's a Saturn down here somewhere. And there's a Genesis with a Sega CD attachment. And I think they even brought in more games. Oh, wait, hold up. They did. Um, yeah, this is more from the storage unit. But yeah, you have this. What is it? I'm pretty sure there's a Pokemon Center Game Boy Color. I don't see this one that often, honestly. But I know it's not worth crazy money. Um, more Genesis stuff, more Tengen, Tengen NES stuff, some super stuff, that's cool that we got more super. Um, let me see, let me turn the camera back on, I'll pull out the highlights and show you. Okay, let's start off with the 64 stuff because I actually know what's like worthwhile in the 64 stuff. We got a Castlevania in that box, Shadow of the Empire, that's meh. NFL Blitz, Mario Golf, Pokemon Snap, Diddy Kong Racing, Quest 64. Nothing like too, too crazy, but like, you know, some classics that like definitely will move well in the store. And then let me hide the most expensive any, oh, what I think is the most expensive NES game. We got all of these. Let me know if any of these are worth something. Like I said, I'm not the one who processed this half of the trade-in, so I'm not too sure on this, and I'm not a big NES fan. But I did know this one was worth something. Rockin' Cats, made by Atlas. You already know Atlas games be going crazy half the time. 
And then here's like a couple Super Nintendo games. But yeah, absolutely crazy trade in. Like I said, they came back like four or five days later with the rest of that stuff, like all that stuff I just showed and the consoles. And then something kind of funny that happened was they kind of got us on something. I'm gonna throw it up. Like obviously I'm gonna blur their faces out and stuff for privacy reasons, but they brought us in like a $120 splatter house. I think for the 32 or, oh, what was it for? For some console, they brought us a splatter house. And I think we saw on eBay, it was going for like 120. And after we had taken it into account for what we were gonna pay them, they yoinked it back from us. And like, we literally didn't know until after we paid them and we were going through all this stuff. And then uh, the co-owner was like, I think like one of the games is gone. And I was like, really? And then he, he like looked around and we went back into the cameras and we saw that they actually got us on it. You know, honestly, we're not too like mad about it. Like it was like literally such an obscure console that the game was for such an obscure console that I didn't personally care all that much. I know the co-owner was like a little bit tilted about it, but I'm gonna throw up that clip up here. But yeah, be careful. Like obviously at Facebook deals, people always be trying to get you like to leave out like the best game. Be like, oh, I, I was gonna keep that. I, I, you know, like that's pretty normal. But yeah, I'm gonna throw that clip up there and yeah, check that out. Okay, so right now he's just kind of going through the games and I wouldn't necessarily say that's suspicious by any means, but you can kind of see he's taking games off in a certain order. And you can see he sets something to the side right now and he picks it up. Now that's a jeweled case as you can kind of see right here in his left hand. It's kind of like shiny like a jeweled case and it's like, hmm, why would he take that out? Well, that was an expensive game. Okay, so now I did my best effort to kind of like blur them out, but then he goes back to the box to try and get more cartridge based games. And he comes back and you can kind of see that he still has the jeweled case under his left arm. But you know, he slaps on some NES games right there. And then right here, you see him put it into his pocket. Now, when you see him come back, you see that he's not going to have the game in his hand anymore. And he's not going to put it back on the stack. You know what? Well played to him. He got us on that. We ended up paying him for that. I don't remember how much, but he definitely did get us. But yeah, guys, that about sums it up. I, I don't know. Maybe there's like more trade-ins hidden around here somewhere. There's just so much stuff in this store sometimes, honestly. Like this store is like, I'd say like 33% smaller than the one I'm always at. And so it can really become noticeable when like we just don't even have space for like invent. What is going on? Someone did that weird. Um, when we don't even have space for inventory. But yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. See you guys later.